Well, hello, America. I'm just working on a little bit of freedom here. What do I mean? Well, I'll let you use your imagination. Hey, what's up? This is Kurt, Send a Rope TV. Now, I'm going to talk a little bit slower. I've only got a few left to do. And then I'll get right into a little update here. Things I've been doing. But uh, this is a really fun hobby. It's an expensive one to get into, but once you're into it, it's actually uh, a lot of fun, really affordable. And that's reloading bullets. And uh, specifically, I've got some 223 being made right here. Regular different brass with uh, some Hornady soft tips. The components are getting harder and harder to find and then easier at the same time. It's very strange. I'm trying to figure that one out. Um, so here we go. I guess the last one. Look at that. 99. 100. Um, you probably haven't seen me much on YouTube. So if you're actually one of my subscribers, hey, what's going on? Um, been busy doing stuff. I'm still around. Still uh, doing what I do, but uh, America's still on the same road off the same cliff it's been on for a while, and frankly, I'm uh, surprised we're all still here. I'm surprised I'm able to make this video and, and uh, put it up on YouTube because we have uh, probably the most criminal government America has ever seen, ever. And we're talking like... Weimar Republic Nazi Germany era criminal government um, I've never seen a executive administration as, as fraught with scandal and outright crimes and misdemeanors as the president I refer to as the Kenyan um, or the Muslim depending on what I'm feeling like that day and then at the state level, we have lots of stuff going on. Uh, here in Virginia, it's always a, a fun show. We've got the carpetbagger communist McAuliffe, uh, or McCoffle, as I like to call him. Um, but things are changing. You know, things are things are moving along, and we'll see what happens. We'll see what 2015 ends up being like. You're all being told what a great economy we have, and I like to ask you a question, and you can put that in the comments. How's it working out for you? Because, I don't know about you, but I feel like I'm reliving 2007, maybe 2008. And uh, we're not quite at the point where we've had any kind of collapse. So I guess I'd be more like 2006, 2007, where everything's great, everything's moving along wonderfully. And then something happens, we hit a wall. And so it'll be interesting to see what the trigger is for that. Because we have a stock market that's in the 17 to 18,000 range when it shouldn't be there. There's nothing fueling that. There's no reality fueling that. There's no consumers buying lots of stuff. There's no people have lots of jobs. It's just, it is. It is what it is. And so it'll be interesting to see what happens there. We've got uh, gold and silver for no explicable reason holding at the same place they've been at for for quite a while um, give or take a couple hundred dollars here and there or for silver you know ten or twenty dollars here and there but overall you have no reality behind anything that you're experiencing in life right now which is why I'm curious to see how all the people that I've chatted with over the years here on let's say I think I got started with the uh, video blogging back in 2007 so I'd like to know in the eight years that I've been on here and the people that I've been conversing with, how is this economy working out for you? Because it sucks for me. I mean, I'll just leave it at that. It sucks for me. Uh, and I'm curious to see how it's doing for you. Is it booming? Is it roaring? Is your job great? Is you, you making all kinds of money? Am, am I just like not seeing the greatness of, you know, the Führer over in uh, in Washington and what he's doing 
Am I just missing the boat here? Should I, should I just switch sides and become a loyal, loyal card-carrying communist? Is that what I should be doing? Because, hey, if I'm wrong, I'm willing to open my eyes and see that I'm wrong, but I don't see it. I just don't see it. I like to think I'm a well-informed guy paying attention, and I don't see it. Do you know that they have a new uh, radar house-penetrating device that can see who's inside the house? They can see if there's heartbeats in the house, if you're immobile. I mean, what? I mean, we're, we're talking like, oh, so you're hiding Jews in there, I see. Yeah, you must bring them out. Can you imagine if the Nazis had stuff like this? This is crazy. You know, NSA spying. Uh, the list goes on and on. Maybe I'm missing the boat here. Maybe it's just really supposed to be all wonderful. So you let me know. How's that wonderful, you know, dear leader Kenyan Muslim up in Washington working out for us? You let me know.